In this video, we discuss the factors affecting demand curve and supply curve of a currency. So when we draw our x-axis, which is the quantity of Australian dollar as an example, on y-axis our exchange rate, here we will use our indirect quotation. This is our downward demand curve for Australian dollar, and this is our upward supply curve for Australian dollar. And the point of intersection between our demand curve and supply curve will give us our equilibrium point, which will give us our equilibrium quantity, and equilibrium exchange rate. Some students, they try to memorize what are the factors that will shift demand curve to the right or to the left, and what are the factors that will shift the supply curve for Australian dollar to the right or to the left. As I promised you, you're not going to memorize anything, you just need to understand. Therefore, I'm linking exchange rate with balance of payment. Do you remember in the balance of payment, we said that we have cash inflow and we have a cash outflow? Therefore, any item under current account or capital and financial account that would result in an inflow will affect the demand curve. Any item under capital account or financial or current account which would result in an outflow will affect supply curve. And this will be the easy way to understand it. Which means exports. Exports is considered inflow or outflow. When we export, we receive the money, it's inflow. So if we have higher exports, it means that we have higher inflow, it means that the demand curve will shift to the right. If we have lower exports, so this means that we have lower inflow, demand curve will shift to the left. What about imports? When we import, we pay, it's outflow. So higher imports, it means that higher outflow, it means that higher supply curve, it means that supply curve will shift to the right. And vice versa, if we have lower imports, it means that lower outflow, it means lower supply, supply curve shift to left. And this is the easy way to say which factor will shift the demand or supply. Demand will shift only by inflow, supply will only shift by outflow. Let's take some examples about factors that will affect the demand curve for Australian dollar. This is our downward demand curve. So what do you mean by demand for Australian dollar? It means that foreigners would like to buy Australian dollar to buy either goods or services or assets. These assets could be physical assets such as a factory or financial assets such as a bond or a share, which means inflow. Foreigners would like to buy our domestic goods, services or assets, which means they will pay Australians so we will receive cash inflow for Australia. So let's get some examples. Exports of goods and services. When we export, we receive the money. It's inflow. Therefore, it will affect demand. Remember, higher shift to the right, lower shift to the left. Another example is income payment from overseas, which means you give consultation to an American firm. So this means that this American firm will pay you a salary or a wage. Consequently, it will be an inflow to Australia. Another example, financial capital inflow. This financial capital, it means either FDI or portfolio. So foreigners invest in Australia, they will come and have foreign direct investment, it's inflow. Or foreigners, they purchase Australian bonds or treasury bonds or shares. Consequently, it's inflow. Inflow affects demand. Another example is central bank purchases of Australian dollar. If the central bank in Australia, we call it RBA, Reserve Bank of Australia, they buy Australian dollar. If they buy, it's a demand. Another example is higher interest rate differential. So what do mean by higher interest rate differential? It means that the interest rate in Australia compares to other countries. For example, if Australia will have a relatively higher interest rate compared to Europe, therefore Europeans would prefer to deposit their money in Australia in order to get higher interest rate. Consequently, we will have more cash inflow. If we'll have more cash inflow, inflow affects demand, therefore it will shift the demand curve. Another example is higher expected future exchange rate. If you know that the value of our Australian dollar will increase, will appreciate in the future. So it's better that you buy it now at a lower exchange rate, wait till its value goes up and then you sell it and make a profit or a gain. Consequently, higher expected future exchange rate will affect the demand curve of our currency. Let's talk about the factors that will shift supply curve. So what do you mean by shifting the supply curve of the currency. It means that Australians are willing to sell Australian dollar in order to buy a foreign currency. So why Australians would like to buy a foreign currency? Because Australians would like to buy either foreign goods, foreign services, or foreign assets. They would like to invest overseas or buy 
foreign shares, foreign bonds, foreign treasury bonds. Remember, supply, it means that we have outflow. So any item on their current account or capital and financial account that would result in outflow, it will affect our supply curve. Let's get some examples. Imports of goods and services. If we'd like to buy iPhone, so this means that I need to sell my Australian dollar in order to buy American dollar and buy the iPhone. Consequently, it's outflow, outflow will affect supply curve. Another example, income payment to overseas. Let's assume that we have a German expert, a German consultant, and we pay him a consultation fee. So this is an income to Germany. From Australia, it will be outflow. If it's outflow, it will affect our supply curve. Another example, financial capital outflow. It means that Australians would like to invest overseas. Either foreign direct investment, which means you would like to buy projects, start a company overseas, or Australians would like to buy and purchase bonds, corporate bonds, treasury bonds, or shares or stocks. Another example is central bank sell Australian dollar. So RBA, Reserve Bank of Australia, is going to sell Australian dollar. Sell, it means supply, it means it's cash outflow, consequently to affect our supply curve. And another example is lower interest rate differential. Let's assume that in Australia, our interest rate will be relatively lower compared to other countries, such as Italy. Therefore, Australians will prefer to take their money from Australia and put it in Italy in order to benefit from a higher interest rate. Consequently, if Australians will take their money from Australia to Italy, it's cash outflow. Cash outflow, it will affect our supply curve. Another example is lower expected future exchange rate. If we expect that the value of Australian dollar will depreciate in the future, its value will be lower. So it's better to sell it now at a higher rate. And then in the future, if you want it, you can buy it. Therefore, it's time to sell it now. Why? Because you know that its value will be lower, you will make a loss. Therefore, this is a cash outflow. We will sell the currency, it will affect our supply curve. Remember that higher outflow, it means higher supply shift to the right. Lower outflow, it means lower supply, shift to the left.